Hi there, welcome to QA Box Let's Test. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, kindly do so. And if you like the video, give them the thumbs up. All right, so in this video, we are going to talk about hooks. And we are going to first cover an example. And with the help of that, we are going to understand the need of hooks into testing frameworks. All right, so there are two test cases as you could see on the screen. So in test case one, what we are doing is we are opening the website, we are logging into that website, we are adding a product to the cart, and then we are logging out, right, and closing the browser. So there are five steps, right? In test case two, also there are five steps. What are we doing here? We are opening the website, we are logging, we are checking the order status, logging out, and then closing the browser. So if you could see that step number one, two, four, and five are same in both the test cases okay so in testing we call these as preconditions and post conditions right in end-to-end -end testing all right so because there are just so many moving parts involved right we write ajax calls right and we have a connection to database right so we have the html rendering you know css comes into picture for styling and then javascript makes makes it you know actionable so there are just so many things right so what we do into end-to-end -end testing is we make sure that okay the application should be in this particular state so we call that as precondition once the precondition is met we are going to execute the test case all right so once the test cases are once the steps mentioned in those test cases are executed the state of the application changes let's say from a to b all right and in post condition we talk about then the change state all right so here also we are going to do something similar but in programming we should not write duplicate code all right so as you could see that you know one two four and five these steps are being uh, you know replicated right so what do we have to do we do we should not duplicate the code so then what are we going to do we are going to make use of hooks in mocha all right and can we write it like this so we can say you know the precondition one is open website all right then we can say okay precondition two is login okay then test case one we execute test case one we add to the card then post condition one is activated and then post condition two all right same is applied for test case two so this is this is how we are going to organize our code into mocha all right and this precondition one as you could see like you know you just have to launch the website or launch the browser once and similarly you just have to close the browser once all right login is something because uh, after every test case you know we are logging out so you know in in the following the subsequent test case you have to first log in all right so login and log out are associated with each and every test but opening the website opening the browser and closing the browser is something that has to be done only once all right so let's imagine test case one and test case two they belong to the same suite right so for this suite precondition one and post condition two they would be executed only once and precondition two and post condition one they will be executed for each test case right so once the concept is set now we are going to see uh, through which uh, hooks we can you know achieve this all right so uh, now look at these clouds right uh, there is a forward slash which is splitting two values so the first one belongs to bdd and second one belongs to tdd all right so for precondition one something which you would like to be executed only once in the suite and before all the other test cases that code goes into before all right that's called as before or suite setup for tdd all right uh, something that you want to be executed before every test case goes into before each or setup all right uh, test case are normal test cases right then something which you would like to execute after each test case goes into after each or tear down and finally you know uh, when all the test cases are being done something that you want to be executed at the end goes into after or suite tear down all right so now let's see how are we going to achieve that in code okay so this is our project that we have worked on and what i have done is i have just added the 
uh, those those methods you know after each before each after before and then i have added two test cases and all i'm doing is inside the uh, these methods right i've just added the console.log so one thing that you have to notice here is all these methods right all these hooks right say you don't have the name for these hooks you just have one parameter and which is the callback function and inside this you write the the logic right so for example uh, in in the case that i was mentioning so uh, you know uh, for before we are going to here write code to you know launch the browser and launch the website all right in uh, after we are going to write the code to you know uh, close the browser all right so all right so uh, now there are two test cases and in these test cases simple log statement is there so let us see what is the order in which this is executed so all we have to do is npm test all right the most important concept that we have to understand uh, in hooks is their order all right so now the order is before as i mentioned right so it is your uh, you know launching the browser and launching the website before it is logging in it is your you know test case then in after each you can like write log out all right and then at the end you have after in which you are going to say okay close the browser because browser is still required for test two and in before each what are you going to do you are going to log in again all right and this is your test case and after each is log out all right so this is how it's positioned now this is for bdd all right so let me comment this out and execute the same for tdd and if uh, just one more thing so if you have observed like i mentioned before each and after each they are executed for uh, you know each test cases so therefore you see this in here all right so this is your pair so this is one pair all right and this is second pair all right so now let me comment this out and let us going to run the tdd version all right so in the last video we talked about it right so uh, again uh, either either you have to import uh, all these right so uh, suite and suite test were there and this time we are making use of hooks uh, which are uh, suite setup suite tear down setup and tear down all right so either you can import all from here all right or what you can do is you can update it from here all right mocha.rc.js so let me uncomment this save it all right let's go to our test cases uncomment this section okay and uh one thing so uh the order of of, of uh, these test cases in terms of you know where you are writing that in your suite does not matter all right so mocha is smart enough to recognize that okay so this is the hook that i have to execute first and then you know the next one and, and so on all right but usually people say okay the first uh, test case is always you know the suite setup then the last uh, uh, sorry the, the first function is always the suite setup the last function is always the suite tier down all right and then you write you know okay before each and then you write all your test cases then at the end you have after each and you know and this is how people organize um their code all right so uh, let us save this this is suite 2 now all right and again we are doing the same thing all we are doing is we are logging in the name of this function all right and let us see what is the order now and of course we know what what the order would be all right so it starts with suite setup and then this is your you know before each all right so then your test then this is after each all right so this is how it works uh, in both um, pdd and tdd version all right so uh, in the upcoming videos right i'll not be working on tdd i will solely be using uh, pdd or version right because that's that's more popular these days uh, and the other thing is uh, you know um, i just explained the concept in this video uh, about you know these hooks uh, if uh, these hooks are required into unit testing as well which is a rare case right uh, because there we work on single units uh, but if there is a need right of course i mean you can also use these hooks all right thank you so much